This photo is just a reminder of how bone looks when all the blood has been removed. And this is a middle stage in the process. It looks just like the rocks on the plana. So now we're going to take a close look at the compact bone, these layers here. So you have these long layers and then you have these rings that are formed. And this is a petrified bone. You can see the, the rings are, are present. And this is looking at the side of the plateau. And you can see there's this, this layering. Let's see more examples of that. So this is very indicative of what you find it's either going to be the trabecular bone or it's going to be the compact bone. I wish I had a better zoom, but here you can get a, a sense of just how massive these layers are and how deep they go. You can't really appreciate that when you're looking at, at some of these other areas, but there there's a gouge and some of the layers have fallen off. That's probably, guessing from here, probably 10 to 12 feet deep. That, that, uh, that layer of rock. So again, if the bone were crushed, then that would be exposing some of these layers, and I think that's what you just saw in the video. Here's a cross-section of elephant tusk, so you can see the same thing. And here you get a real feel for it. So this would, would have originally been extended around, perhaps, and then this plateau is filled with blood and trabecular bone and little scattered pieces of these thicker layers, but along the side of the mountain you get all of this layering that I'm talking about. Again, noticeably lacking in blood vessels. Here is what I would consider to be like a transition segment. You've got nothing in the way of vascularity, but nevertheless there's iron ore deposited here. So this might have been what I consider a transition zone between the two kinds of bone. Again here, huge block. Can't really uh, get a sense of the size because I don't have anything to, for scale, but this is probably four feet high. And you can see there are blood vessels here, but they're smaller. So this I'm thinking is more of a, a transition bone. This is nearly the size of a car. And this is a real fascinating specimen because you can see down here, this chunk has broken away, exposing the inside. And you can see here that where that rock has broken away, there's literally red earth oozing out of channels. And this is, the ki this is the size of a car as well. Another angle. Okay, so just to drive the point home about compact bone and what I consider to be transition zones, this is a huge rock that's about the size of a car. There's a plum there just to give you a, an idea of scale. You can see the, the blood here that's um, coagulated. And then down below, you'll see in the video, there's a, let's just run it. You can see there's a channel just below where an animal has dug out, exposing the red blood. See a massive blood vessel there. That's about a, I don't know. 10 inches wide. So if that was created by erosion, it's interesting that it's almost a perfect circle and it's so large. And here we're looking down into larger blood vessels and if you look, each of these larger spaces here break off into smaller channels. So this is exactly what I would expect to find with the fractal nature of blood vessels.
there you have it. Compact bone, probably a transition zone because of the huge amount of vascularity.